My name is Ron Lenz. I'm the instructor for the Collision and Refinishing program here at Daytona State College. Right now we're in the Collision Lab for the Collision and Refinishing program where we teach all aspects of collision and auto body repair. Cosmetic repairs, structural repairs, welding, refinishing, masking, everything that goes into repairing a modern day when it gets into a collision and or accident. When it comes to enrollment, we have anywhere from 17 to 24 students. The program runs a full year, three 15-week semesters so fall, spring, and into the summer. The female enrollment has gone up drastically in the last three years. They're very successful when we get into welding and into the refinishing aspect of things. Every notable shop that a student would want to work for offers an apprenticeship program. And they put them with a skilled technician anywhere from three to four years and teach them the advanced skills. And they work their way through that apprenticeship program at the same time having an opportunity to earn a living. During their summer semester, they're allowed to enroll into what we call a co-op. They're able to earn some of their hours that go towards their time in the program while out in industry working. So when it comes to repairing a collision damaged vehicle, we have cosmetic repairs that have to be done. And of course, if there's cosmetic repair, it needs to be refinished. Most people, when they look at a vehicle, they see the finish. So all the details that go into that refinish process are very important and detailed as well. You can see here, one of the technical skills they learn is how to mask off a vehicle properly. Once the masking process has been completed, the vehicle is able to go into the booth where they can finish any last minute details in the masking process. Proper primers, base coats, which is our color, clear coats, understanding the equipment that goes into being able to spray that product. So spray gun technology, spray gun setup, and then obviously the use of that tool. It then gets rolled out of the spray booths and into the prep deck area where we inspect the finish for any flaws that need to be corrected before the vehicle gets reassembled and then delivered to the customer. We've now entered the weld lab. You can see here we have a series of five weld booths. All the proper PPE for the students is supplied for them. So they'll begin welding flat, then they go vertical and then into overhead, which are all the positions weld on whenever we repair a vehicle especially when it comes to structural repairs. In the collision program, especially when we get into the estimating side and personnel side of things, the students need to know how to interact with customers. It's not only a vehicle repair industry, but it's also a customer relation industry. Communicating with people is much easier and it helps them all throughout their life and their career. Two main types of welds go down during the repair process and that is MIG welding. And then we have our squeeze type resistant spot weld which duplicates what the factory does when they build a vehicle. This is an example of one of the more common premium frame benches that they offer by Carliner. What goes along with this frame bench is all the accessories needed to set up and or pull a vehicle. You can see here, these are specifically for this frame bench and our pulling towers go along with this. This is our three-dimensional measuring system that goes along with our Carliner frame bench here. This hooks up to the vehicle. It has a specialized measuring head that can pull all underbody and upper body measurements. After the structural process has been completed, we then need to sand and prep it for undercoats. This machine right here is specific for the application of what we do. One of the main softwares we use in estimating is CCC1 most common utilized estimating software in the industry. We need to be able to mix colors and products and what goes into that system is our color net. We use an Exalta based product here and this is one of the main softwares the students learn how to use and navigate whether it's in reference to estimating, refinish, and or the three-dimensional measuring system with our car liner. Those are softwares that are used across the board. Very popular, very prevalent. We focus on ASE content. So by the time the students graduate from the program, they'll have a full understanding of the ASC content that's needed to pass ASC certification testing, along with the ICAR content that works right alongside the ASC content. Very detailed, very challenging, very expensive test. So we make sure that the students are prepped and ready to pass that test whenever they're given the option to take it. Once they get out to the industry, an employer will actually pay for them to go through the certification and training process and as they move on and upward in their positions, they will gain what we call master level certification. And every student in the last six years that I've worked here that has graduated from the program has gotten a job in the industry. Some doing incredibly well right out of the gate, making upwards of 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars a year within their first year in the industry. Careers in the collision field, it truly is limitless. There's parts departments, there's shop supervisors, estimators, obviously managers, assistants to those managers, 
There's color technicians, product specialists, there's detailers. The list, it's truly endless. And the students, they want to learn one thing. And when they come out of it, they realize that they have multiple opportunities or avenues to go down. Taking a tour through the shop, there's plenty of career opportunities within the collision industry. There's very few programs like this left in the state and especially throughout the rest of the country. It's an awesome opportunity for anybody that lives throughout the Central Florida area.